Welcome and thank you for joining this session. In this tutorial, we will create the finite element model representations for the syringe assembly, which is the top level of the specification tree. To ensure that you are at the correct level of the specification tree, double click on the assembly physical product container to switch context. Once the switch is completed, the active level of the tree is highlighted in blue. Next, switch to the Structural Model Creation app. Select V plus R from the compass. Expand My Simulation Apps. Click the search icon. Type Structural to list all apps that have the string Structural in their name. Select the Structural Model Creation app. A dialog box with an option to choose five different methods to initialize the mesh are available. For example, the manual initialization mode allows the user to control basic parameters that define the mesh, while the rule-based initialization mode lets you select a ruled document that has all the parameters predefined to generate a tetrahedron mesh. For this example, we will select the automatic initialization option. This mode automatically sets the mesh parameters based on the selected geometry and generates a tetrahedron mesh using the octree algorithm. The app automatically generates and associates a mesh with the parts in the assembly. It also creates solid section properties and associates them with the parts automatically. If required, you can rename the features with more meaningful names. As you can see, these section property definitions are however incomplete because materials are not assigned to the parts. We will assign materials to these parts in a subsequent tutorial. The fact that there are no materials assigned to the parts is also indicated by the warning glyph next to the feature on the tree. In order to apply the mesh properties and visualize the mesh, you will have to update the FemRep. Right-click Nodes and Elements in the FemRep and select Update All Meshes from the menu that appears. This brings us to the conclusion of this tutorial. Thank you for attending.